Welcome to part 12 of the White Hands campaign for Total War Attila. Now in the last part, we the two main offensive armies swept down here and destroyed the Macrams. And we've actually now yes. what? got in this position here where we're kind of... The original plan was to actually take out the Himyar, but they seem to be very, very... I'm just going to do an intern. They seem to be very, very entrenched here with two full stacks, with a walled city with two near fu nearly full, well, one full stack and another one nearly full. It's going to make it very difficult for my armies to get in there because sieges are very costly. I mean, if I could draw them out into an open field battle, I think we'd do much better. But. Part of me says, let's, uh, yeah, and of course they've got lots of agents hitting my agents, which is a pain in the neck. So, I think this might be a little bit of a, kind of a pullback, see if we can draw them out type approach. Uh, the alternative is that we actually go back and have another go at the Sassanids. Uh, which could be an option. And we've also got some raiding to do so I suppose, but then raiding a desolate area isn't going to be particularly that. So, opportune failure, disease, critical failure, power respectable, so we've got uh, in here is a dread rider. I don't think we can get anyone else in here as anything else. My air's there. You're there. You're there. You're there. You don't have enough experience yet. And everybody's looking happy at the moment. I mean, you could probably do with a bit more kind of loyalty. I think what I'm going to do is get you going up that way to say hello to the Sassanids. I think we can do is we use a Hunnic tactic in the sense that no, you can't, I just want to stay encamped for the moment just to keep these hordes growing up. They're going to have to take contention but I don't think there's much we can do about that. Again, you can't. So, just going to Move you back a bit. I think what do you, you can pull back as well. To work, then. I Hold think you can. In the dark. You can pull back the far stars. enough to. So we can keep. We've got this agent here. We can keep I an eye on them. It. I think maybe we need yes. these guys. For the prize. These guys are up to strength. But they, these guys need a bit of R and R. Got these Akatsi raiders, raiders, and certainly need some better uh, melee type cav. But same time, these Spets, Zar and Archers have got a pretty good dual role. I mean, they've got 65 melee attack, 37 melee defense. They've got some reasonable armor and health, and they've got a range, pretty good range. You know, compared to these guys and these guys, I mean, these guys aren't too bad. So, so let's just have a run round. I've got a feeling we're going to burn through quite a few turns in this part. Uh, it'd be nice to, but you don't really have enough food. You really need to kind of get up and get some food. Um, you can't build anything. Do want a royal encampment? Probably not. Sokdin warriors, camel riders, unigard. Um, that would be quite good to have, but it's really it's the wrong army. I mean, if I'm going to build that, I'd build it in this. Maybe that would be something for this. This faction, this one, because this is my royal. That's where my faction leader is. Can't build anything there. I think we'll move you down this way a bit. 
as well. I think that's all we can do for this part. So I think it's going to be quite a few more turns charging through this area again. Which I'm sorry for, guys, but I think this is going to be the nature of the game. Is or this campaign? Well, it's the nature of the game anyway. That you've got to do the economics from time to time, uh, just to. Ah, so the Himyara are coming out. Ah, we might be able to. It looks like they're trying to find us. Mm, interesting. Maybe we can. That could be useful because if they came out and uh, moved an army out to resettle one of these regions, that would be really good. I'd like that. So maybe we can come in and How can we help? do over one of these agents. Uh, I think we're going to just go for a straight assassination. <coughs> Success. You're not going to come out here and find out what I'm up to, Sunshine. I think we'll just bring you round here. Just to keep an eye on this area here. And I think we'll go for an assassination on this one. Sorry, just bang the microphone. Success. I think we're and we'll keep you moving this way. I think we're I am done. Kind of because we can move across the desert, so we don't need to stick to the roads because we're move, immune to desert attrition. So I think at the Warriors moment we're going to move back against the get in position to maybe have a crack at the assassins. I think because of the two factions, they're liable to be the weakest. Um, how are you doing? Right, you can go up another level. We'll milk. Um, how's the integrity in this army? That's good. So, if we go up to a royal, that would give us another 400. It would get down there, and keep the growth going. Okay, we'll go up that way. That would give us more growth without the integrity hit. I think we're going to go with that for the moment. Because we've got this Warlord's Yurt building up here for champions. I think we're going to go with the, the food angle for the moment. Just to keep that going. We've got food as well. Um, we'd love to take that up. I think we'll get more food going here. We've got the meat cura there, which will give us more growth as well. Quarter be praised. How can uh, I help? Warlords Yurt, Able Champions, Treasurer. Do we need more champions or do we need a treasurer? I don't think we actually need anything there. At the moment we've got two sets of there. Actually you've got my military base. Oh, you've already got three level three there. Um, I'm going to go with. I think it's communal grounds. Yeah, meat cura. I'm going to go with uh, communal grounds on this uh, faction because that will that will give us some more. We come to here. This will start to build up a, a food reserve which is independent from the uh, fertility. Which could be quite useful. Actually, let's have a look. You're the Great Khan. So, actually... Oh, 
stupid. Board of the. Hopefully, this will fit. up and there's some we got the food so we're just gonna go for an intern I think maybe we'll do a bit of raiding just to annoy the Sassanids actually So they're doing agent actions against us. Even though we took down two of their priests. <sighs> Come on. Ah, that's interesting. They've moved away. They've got a spy operating against my spy. They've moved off a small force, but the two main armies are still lurking, which is not going to be good. Okay. Opportunity failure, failure. Got Toromora. Power respectable. Uh, we're going to pay him off. We've got more than enough to deal with this. You keep what do you going want? this way. Couple of Sassanid armies there, so I, I think what we're going to do is... Yeah, we can't move that far. It's with raiding, we can only... There you go that far raiding, so ready for action. Um, it's gonna On the move up this rise. way at the moment. We can encamp. Um oh, you're coming this way, so Dastly for battle. Gonna get you Back across the water of my there. people. Your next command. What be faced? How can I help? Oh, this could be useful. Um, no. Move you over Sword here. My people. Gonna lose a bit of cash because we're now in a lesser orders. infertile area. Mm. This is gonna be interesting. They've got a Himyar army there. I am the last in the dark. Um, gonna do an assassination. I will end them. <gasps> Come, sit, share my fire. Gonna pull you back that Dangry way. guides my steps. I could do more. Just to keep an eye on things. So we're going to go with wealth and buildings. Keep the cash flowing in. I think what we're going to do is recruit you some tr extra troops into you at this army. And shamans of the eternal sky. Not much use, are you? The attack against cavalry. I think Are you ready we're to do your duty? going to, we need good fighters. to recruit a couple more of these guys. I doubt if they'd be able to get to us in two turns. Well, just have to see. Um, Come, sit. Share else we can fight. build. Nope, you're okay. For you're quite happily can't see the point in 
uh, wealth of 150. That will consume 40 food. I think I'm going to be more interested in kind of building these, this side up at the moment. I don't really need to go up another level here. Nobleman's cap. Can you group of cards here, right? Oh, you can. Uh, let you have a couple as well. Not so much for the, their own defence, but to re-equip these armies because these armies don't, don't really need, want to stay in place for two two turns. Um. Part of me says, let's move south. Leave the Sassanids alone. Let's move south so we can actually go down and take that. Ascom or the Himyar settlement if they resettle. Oh, looks like they might be going that way as well. They're certainly pushing out. still keeping these two armies there which is going to be a different <sighs> always occasion got a sun built uh, leave you there I'm going to get you come over this way to see what the Imi are up to oh that's just an agent nothing more Let me just keep you. So they've obviously pulled back from there. I leave these guys just chilling out there. Uh, Agent, I want you to come over here and see what the assassins are up to. I think you can. We'll just pull you back here for the moment, but we'll keep Come, sit. Share my fire. keep you each side of this line. Is that so? You're up to strength. Why betray? How can you're I help? quite happily doing your thing. You, you guys can't move because you're betray? recruiting. How can I help? Yep. Come. So we're going to burn through another turn, guys. Take a quick look at these guys. Ready for battle. Um, be nice to draw the Himyar out, but right, let's go for an end turn. So, do I? Could I get in there against? I wonder how big the garrison is there at Damartha. Could I get in with two full stacks? I probably would take a lot of casualties. Uh, so they're certainly moving around a lot of agents and armies. I think what I might do is start moving the two financial economic hordes round to, so we can have a, a little bit of a white hun uh, camp, campfire so they can swap troops, get those raiders into my main armies. Oh, oh what's happened here? Lightbringers. You, you look damaged. Um, but what it's because I want? brought the wrong agent up. I can't Present see. Secret 
these guys are damaged. Looks like the Eastern Romans have had a go at them. About the city itself. These guys are damaged, they've actually got a non -ago. How can they have a non in a garrison? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 15? God almighty. Militia, encampment, magistrates, plan. And they've got this army, oh, they've got. Mm. This could be expensive. Um, and can we declare war on the Sassanids? The door is open to you, but if you wish to go beyond the courtyard within, speak. It's an opportunity to get in and destroy them, but I think we could take a lot of casualties with this army here. Unless we can get them in the field. Ready for battle. Uh, can you get in close enough? Get moving. We could get them actually out else? in the field. Attack. Cannot do that. Ready for battle. That is impossible for the tribe. Uh. Let them cower. This is probably going to be the only battle we're going to have in this part, guys. So I'm going to fight it. I think pushing that army away will kind of expose that. I couldn't, yeah, I think I could have beaten the the two armies together. But I think, oops, you're coming in from over here. So, yeah, I think I could have, I could have beaten those armies together. Actually, it's over here. It's going to be... Oh, they've closed this corner off. I think we're going to have to kind of go head to head here. So it's going to be one army on them against their army. Although I don't think they have that much. So I think we'll put that there. And of course I've actually attacked with the buffer really attacked for the wrong army but um, I think what we're going to do is I've got to improve my cavalry tactics so I think what we're going to do is keep all these guys together and I'll put you on heavy shot um, just put, you here, put you on explosive and we're going to kind of come in here Friendly banners! Our reinforcements okay, arrive! Guys coming down this way straight away. And we'll get you guys come in this way. I want you smack in the middle of this lock and I want you quite literally carving up these archers keep you out this way yep I think you guys can 
Move forward. A bit. Don't rush away. guys a little bit. Uh, bounty horse. Go after these. These guys are getting chewed up to buggery. Strategy, whatever that is. The enemy are losing ground. Yep. I've got this general. I want you guys to push in on. Guys, over here. What do you guys think? If you're going in against these archers. Horse archers. Roll off this way, I'm getting all my horse archers mixed up. Get in against these guys. Uh, what are you in against these? Right, you guys are quite literally peppering the buggery out of those. I'm not sure why you're mixed up in this lot. You guys pulling in behind. Actually, you can come in for a rear charge on these guys. six would have had a lot more losses if we'd actually gone up against there I should have really I've got to learn how to use groups guys uh, I think I'm gonna need groups to control these horse archers decisive victory lost one I think these hunnic horse archers have had their time I think and I don't know whether you can 
Come sit. Share my fire. Raise it. Obviously, we won't be able to turn. We won't be able to encamp this turn with these guys, I doubt it. How can I help? Nope. But. No. Come, sit, share my oh, fire. It's the, you lost one unit here. Um, get back over here. You guys have now. I think what we're going to do is we're going to pull you guys this way. Get moving. Send you out that way. There. Going to keep you there so that you can act as forward reconnaissance pull you back this way you've got some lancers which we'll give to our main fa faction leader when he, we team up right we've got some got plenty of food here um, I think we're gonna go for a warlord's yurt so we can get uh, treasurer. Can't see the point of that. Um, horde growth. That gives me us more growth. That gives us more cash. Um, that actually gives us more cash and a lot more integrity. Go with that just to get up the, that level there. That should keep keep the army growing. Right. So we've got this one Sassanid army here, which is the full stack, but we're we're in kind of close proximity. We've also got the Romans, East Romans stood next to us. So I think that's all. Let's see what the Himyar are. They've got loads of forces here. Um, <laughs> really do with having a spy up this way I think maybe we'll, we'll bring you back this way we'll move you up this way and we'll pull you probably now we'll just leave you there watching the Himyar at the moment where's my priest my priest short Yep, I'm a priest short, so who can I recruit priests from? One of these guys has got a storyteller's hut. Yut. Oh, oh, we can recruit champions now. So let's have a, a bit of a... So we've got spread religious influence, lawmaster, research faction. Uh, I think we're recruiting you, because that will keep our religious go going. For the crime. Um, get three of these military training certainly going to recruit that for the um. gods come sit share my fire <laughs> keep on turn it goes sorry 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 i suppose we're just going to have to um army recruitment parent army certainly going to get you blood and glory uh glory blood riders and i suppose we're just going to have to have you Fatigue rate 10% parent army, yep. I am the so. destroyer of men. So we're gonna see if we can get these into parent armies to get some stuff going. Uh got zeal missile attack rate, I think we're gonna go with that. Uh cunning fatigue rate. Board recruitment cost, charge bone, yep, I think we'll go with that. Right, gonna go to mid turn. Hopefully these Romans will have a, a bit of a crack at the Sassanids and then we can wipe them off, kill them.
That would be good. The East Romans are certainly a lot tougher. Yeah, well. I think it, you're going to be even more damaged. Oh, looks like these Romans have done the honours for us, so. Bit of a shame, but. I mean, I would have liked to have destroyed the Sassanids, but... Sassanid Empire is no more. How about that for a turn up the book? Normally they're the biggest troublemakers in the book, but... Um, why can't you... Move out. Is there nothing else? Can you move... It's gonna, I think we're going to move you back On the move, lads. and do a bit of regrouping. And see if we can... We have the contention to start with. I think we're going to move back, we team up with these armies and get swap, do some tr swap, tr swapping. Uh, I don't think I'm going to bother recruiting any troops for this one until we've done the swap. But, um, right, we've got, I think. You've got the first first wave lancers. Actually, what first wave lancers like then? Uh, so these are the first wave lancers. They're forty six. They're actually better. But I bet I can guarantee you these first wave lancers. These are hyperlight -like chargers. I'd probably get rid of these guys. Uh, Hunnic Mounted Ball Band. Um, got one, two, three, four. Actually, let's get rid of one of these guys. And I can guarantee you that if I come here with these first wave lancers, cool, they're expensive. Step lancers. Those guys are very expensive. That charge bonus, though, they would be. Be they've actually got three a weapon as well. Attack charge bonus, melee defense, melee attack. Light shot cavalry with a charge bonus of two hundred and fifty-five. Cool, that's. And I can guarantee you, yep. Yeah. Um. No, I, I don't don't want to recruit those just yet. Purely and simply because I, I want to move this army back. So, um, bartering grounds, we're going to have some, get some, build some campfires there in that army. Um, right, we're back to here, so, got that there. Footman's camp. This gets me to the guard, guard in Hindu Kush. First wave lancers. Now that's the Lancers group, this will give me Hunnic Devil Archers. Um, <sighs> Footman's Camp, Yandrix, but Yandra Spearmasters. Uh, Hunnic Ambushers. Army recruitment capacity plus two. Food consumption, we got the food for it. Because this is already 20, so I've only got 20. Noble horse archers, you are archers. I think. Uh, because I can't get those straight away. And we've got cavalry in the other one. I'm actually going to go for. <coughs> You've already got King Liscarna and Havilite Chargers there. <coughs> Pardon me, my voice is going a bit croaky. Um, Noble Horse Archers, you are Archers, they're going to be... I'm actually going to go with that, which is going to be the... that, partly because 
this will give me access to the axemen eventually plus uh, it will give me yander spearmasters i'm not too sure how good they are but it, it will give me another i mean i think i've got quite a lot of recruitment capacity if you look here we got we got the um where they call them the spetzion arch i mean these are quite a good dual roll light cavalry i mean they've got 53 missile damage range morale they've got good, plenty of good health they've got armor they've got a melee defense and damage of 34 plus a melee attack so these are kind of quite a good dual roll light archer stroke cavalry so um and they've got that excellent missile block compared to these guys who you know oh they're okay but Actually, I think I might get another one of those. Actually, no, I think we're... See, even these Hephalite chargers are, are pretty good. Right. So... <coughs> Let's sort out this little bit of a mess here now. Um, what's your traits? You've got military training. So I want you coming this way. Sword of my people. Because I want you Lord. training. You've got armament recruitment capacity. Arm uh recruitment capacity. I think that's gonna be useful as well. And, and I think you've got more of a fatigue rate in parent army. I think we're going to Is there nothing else? Just drop you in here to support Call the army for the moment. Weapon? And there's another look, priestess mm. priest there. And I'm going to bring you back this way because it means I can then use my spy more in this role. And that means I can push you up kind of this way. Bring you. Want you bringing kind of moving that way against Tessathon, and I want you kind of just seeing what the Eastern the Romans are. I want to like to see if there's a path through there here because maybe we could come up here and trouble it and push up through this lot. Um, that might be an option, just not bother with the Himyar. I think we might leave the Himyar at the moment to the. Um, have a quick look at the, these Romans. Uh, they're about a war with about everybody under the sun, Judea. But yeah, but the only people they're not actually at war with is the Himyar, I don't think. Uh, the Himyar are only at war with us, so. Uh, I think we're just going to leave them as our bonus, because if you look here, actually not here, um, actually it looks like we've lost a. Uh, you're there, you're there, you're there. Nope, they're still all here. Um, what was I saying? If you look up here, here, we get plus one integrity for every war we perpetrate. So if we stay at war with the Himyar, but just basically ignore them, unless they come up and bother us. And we'll come, just come back. I want to actually just move you. Can you move back? Move to here. Get moving. You have more orders? And bring you ah, up back a bit further, but keep you in this territory. We can't move anyway, oh, no so we might as well just encamp. Probably because I put that um, champion in. I'm just gonna not bother with those guys. Currently not researching any technology. Uh, mm, mm, what we're we gonna go for? Why distribution? I really want to go for this. And um, we're over the top recruitment across cavalry units. Well, yeah, step cataract cataphracts. I mean, I think we've got more kind of troops than we actually need anyway. So I want to get to here so I can max out my goat pens. And that's going to be... 
That's 11, that's probably going to be 11, so that's about 22 turns, that's a long way to go. So, looks like the faction leaders lose an integrity, we'll have to have a look at that, try and find out what's causing that problem. <coughs> Where that the time's pushing on. So hope you guys are enjoying this campaign. It's it's interesting. It's like kind of strategy chess. I think I'm going to enjoy this. I think it's going to be a, a more fun campaign compared to the uh, say like doing the Huns, which is going to be all horse raiders. Come on, East Romans. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to attack me. I'm a lovable guy, really. I'm your friends at the moment, these Romans. So... Gonna... See if we can get you... To here. Get you in camp. Why are you losing... Oh, you're not losing not losing integrity now. Um see if we can get you You're the one with the army recruitment capacity, we'll get you in here to support the army. What a prize. We're gonna bring How far can you get? You can get in quite a long way here. We're going to separate them out a little bit at the moment. I think we can afford to do that for the moment. And I think a great Khan. Um, who's got the worst? You've got no Balakazi Raiders. You've got no so let's Sword of my you know, kind of trespass a little bit on the Eastern Romans, but I don't think they're going to mind. Right, we're going to give you probably. Let's give you. I don't want to go completely over the top with <coughs> these shop cav, your honey call searchers. Um, We've got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight horse ride horse there. Got Hepalite chargers in this one. I think if we bring back two of you guys, leave one there, give you two there. Actually, let's do it this way because you're a kind of a light shock cavalry. So, but. Actually, I only really need to give one, don't I? Um, so, this brings you up to full strength and gives us a couple of shock cavalry there. Got the step mounted bows, which I've just upgraded by accident, which I didn't intend to do. But, oh well, that's the way it goes. And I think we can bring you kind of it's not you have more orders. I think we can bring you to about there guide my steps. and just in camp. Again, you what seem to have lost integrity for some reason. Not sure why you keep losing integrity for no apparent reason. I'm um, going to put you, you up just to see what the... I could do more. There, you can For the gods. kind of move up round Eftelbidbana. 
maybe we could come up Is here and slip it? through here and take on the Cartuli. Well, we don't have any contact with them yet, so. Probably by the time we get up there, these Romans would probably swap, swipe them. The Himyara are still doing their thing. Losing quite a lot of integrity now, but I don't think there's much we can do about what that. I'm gonna go one more turn, guys. Oops. Just, I want basically before I go, I want to just do the swap for those armies. I think maybe we'll go up, annoy the these Romans, go go to the Cartuli, or get the spy up there just to see what's going on, all that agent. So the old Himyara roving around here. I mean, it'd be nice if they actually kind of split their armies up, but I can't see that. get a lot of contention. Grand Despoiler, Death of Red Rider, Glorious Subjugator. No. Yeah. Glorious Subjugator, Growth for All Forces. Um, and Grand Despoiler, Sacking the Rail, Upkeep in Forces. Uh, So uh, Dread Rider, there's nothing I can do about that. Um, who was the glorious subjugator? Um, you were the grand despoiler, Sonicus. Um, Affet of all was the Dread Rider, and Libadard was the glorious subjugator. So you're the glorious subjugator, and going to leave you in as a uh, um, there and you're probably going to get a bit annoyed because I can't do it actually I think what we'll do oh see if we can give you a little bit of a boost to your stats right what I want to do is get you um, I think we'll just get you as far back as to just bring you. Or well, you're going to trespass on the East Romans, whether you like it or not. We're going to bring you here. Is there nothing else? Going to let you camp. Uh, going to bring you up to. How far can you come? Actually, let's. Can you reach them? Get moving. You can just run straight up against the Blood Riders, and we can do the exchange. So, Hyperlight Chargers. You've already got a Noble Akatsi Raiders. Actually, quite a big army, actually. Um, I think we'll give you that, we'll give you that. And take, so that will give me three charges. Because if I do that, so that would give me three sets of shock cavalry to support that. With the, the cavalry, maybe if you hang on, hang on to this one, 
We've got the assault troops. And the Hephalite chargers can go that way. Um, Panic horse archers, step mounted bows. No, can't. We won't take any more, so we're just going to have to go for that Sword exchange. Ready for battle. And this means this guy's down to 17, but he's got a fairly round, well rounded army. Um, actually, ready for action. Who's got the siege capability? Carpenter's workshop, right? Gods be praised. Excitement. Okay, let's do it this way. Move out! Give you the two onagers. Get moving! And you probably won't be able to. No, so you've you've now got two onagers, and that you've my siege on? army there. Um, you can just. Chill out there. Uh, I'll roam as I please. I want you moving Sword north. My what do you you want? moving north. Let's see if we can kind of get in and see those. Um quite happy with you just chilling out there you can keep an eye on those guys you can keep an eye on those guys I think that you can come north as well uh, we're losing cash because we've only got one horde two hordes we got so much contention we don't know what yeah but I don't think it's a problem because we'll sort it out next time so I'm gonna go one more turn just to, so I can sort this mess out get these guys in the right position um, where's the military training trap trap guerrilla activity assault unit raid sabotage buildings sabotage military supply military training right we're gonna get something into there right go for an internal Yeah, I think I'm going to go north and see if we can slip across the top of these Romans, take out those and then maybe have a crack at these Romans. They're cl these settlements are quite close together so we'll be able to raid in quicker, where if I go down towards Judea, we've got to cross quite large expanses of desert, which is gonna, would be a real pain in the neck. Uh, this is going to be the last turn guys and then we'll bring this part to an end a shame we couldn't have a go at the Himya but that's for another time so we're just going to do this turn move those armies back out so that they can be in a good position to move forward political favours yeah Power respectable. Current balance of power. Yeah. Power. No. Well, obviously it didn't work. And for some reason you didn't get in as a grand spoiler, probably because you were. Uh, so, right, this sort this mess out. I want you. Over here. On the move, lads. For the moment, so you can encamp. You have more orders. I want Quality you. Place. How can I help? In this region, encamp. Actually, let's get you a bit further north. How far north can we get you? So you come way. up here. Camp. I think we're just going to leave you tucked up on this border here. 
um, just so that we can get maximum profit. Uh, again, I don't really want to uh, be we annoying these Romans. Yep, it's deteriorating at the moment, but um, I think we're probably all the trespassing I've been doing. We're just going to let you encamp there. That's kind of hit my income quite badly, but that's probably all the... Because at the moment the contention's still... Yeah, we're getting 30... minus 30%. Let, let you have the military training. Yeah, we're getting the training. And this guy's levelled up again, what we got here. Give him zero plus two. Assault. Certainly going to start working towards this one. So, going to actually let's cancel that. Get you in here. Obviously, I didn't put in. <coughs> right. So we've now got the armies out here. We've got this army up, virtually up to strength. So we've now got full three almost full strength armies we're going to Are you ready to do your duty? um got a, one assault army Warriors you've got a nonaga oh, I really need two onagas two assault armies actually going to do is, is recruit ordinary troops for this army so we got we got one two three four what I'm going to do is get some more Hunnic horse archers light bow cav Hunnic Horse Archers 295, 299, 357. I'm going to get a couple more of these guys. Now, my thinking is this, that I've got... This is a siege army. This is a, a kind of mixed force capability. And this is going to be my... I think, actually, let's... Get rid of you as well. And get another... rate of fire, poor rate of fire, poor, very very poor rate of fire, very poor rate of fire, so god almighty these guys are, so we got five, step, no chance, and again I'm going to get another one of these, what I'm thinking guys is that this will be my kind of anti, my filled army, so we're gonna have like have some infantry to, to be the the kind of the anvil and then we're gonna have a lot of cavalry to act as a uh, then we think so this would be my build army but at the same time it's odd that they can recruit on so if they suddenly get themselves in a situation where they need to uh, kind of assault somewhere or something like that they can kind of pause re drop a unit recruit an onaga and assault and this will be my Thirsty general purpose battle. army this will be my kind of major center assault army and with because it's going to so maybe we can yeah I mean they've got quite a lot of assault troops Got some cheap step mounted bows, Hunnic horse archers. So these can have the the kind of cheaper horse archers. Um, 
maybe eventually are you recruiting what are you building here um so, so, so let's quick run through to see what we can build you are building up that you, that should give you a lot more integrity uh, this is a Royal Yurt Builder that will give me plenty of money but what's the, what are they doing for integrity they got well they got quite a lot of integrity um, Blood Riders so that will give me a lot more growth all the construction costs lower um, um, what am I looking for? 8 Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Because this one's got the spare integrity. We might have to invest the money in our hordes. You're gonna have the meat cure soon. And you're gonna have this building soon. And that's where I'm gonna leave it, guys. I've probably rambled on a lot longer than I should have done. And we it was a pretty good turn. I think we're gonna not bother with the him yeah, I think we're gonna move north kind of get these guys moving up you've got a lot of these very East Roman territories that are very very close together I can get across here and say hello to the Kartuli and they've only got two settlements so maybe we can kind of have a crack at the, against the Kartuli you can just mm. lurk the other side of Tessathon. See, there's a lot of very rich Is that East Roman territories. Maybe we'll just punch in against these Romans. I think I've got a, a requirement here that says uh, what's it? maintain 25 units of the following type. Sogdian warriors, mercenary hunting, mercenary hunting horse archers, Spetsion. Raise a sack for settlements, we've got that. Um, forge a defensive alliance with these Romans, probably not that. Raise or sack the following settlement, Tessathon. So maybe we can just swoop in and take Tessathon um, and do something like that. Just move you forward. I think you can just keep coming north as well. The shadows are friends. I think. And I think we're kind of bring you up behind just to see what the Romans, East Romans, have got. Because I think they're a bit preoccupied down here at the moment. So I think maybe we can go go to all these Romans, bring the siege army in, <laughs> which is over here, but that's okay. Uh, and maybe take you up here and we can do a kind of double knockout to start with bring the siege army up here kind of come in here I don't know how big the garrison at Tessathon is not not that big and maybe we can kind of start knocking back these Romans here but that's for the next part guys I hope you've enjoyed the episode I hope you're finding it interesting campaign and until the next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.